Uh, uh, Harlem, shake it. Uh huh. Uh, welcome back, beautiful people, to another amazing and impactful episode of the True Health Forever podcast, where we shall live our best life through the lens of holistic health. I'm your host, Devon Travell, creator of Black Wall Street, the board game, and it is my honor, it is my privilege to have the beautiful the chef horrific the ultimately rare galactic beautiful queen herself please introduce us <laughs> nice smile baby. <laughs> what's up everybody my name is sinclair aka the health nerd yeah we're joining you on another sunday afternoon boom have you been outside i have not okay but it is about oh, here we go again with your powers mm. i'm gonna go with 83 again Okay. You know, hey, when, when in doubt, go with the same answer. It's 80. 80, close, close. Um, so I got a few things random before we hop into it. Mm -hmm. First of all, shout out to Deb at Ralph's. Deb, Deb at Ralph's. Deb at Ralph's gave okay. me the best customer service. Oh. Right? I was I was out in the self-checkout line. I was waiting for some time because I was trying to get some gift cards and stuff. And then she finally comes up. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry for the wait. Boom, she helps me out. Boo, boo, boo. She leaves, does her thing. I continue to shop. She comes back. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Your station is dirty. <laughs> Sprays. <laughs> there you go. I was like, oh, I appreciate you. She's like, I appreciate you. God bless. I'm like, oh, thank you, Deb. Yes. <laughs> uh, one more thing happened. I was looking for some bags. I couldn't find bags. She's like, oh, they're right here. They're hiding like Russian missiles. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> interesting. What? Interesting reference, Deb. But I still, <laughs> still appreciate it. Um, so yeah, they're secretly a spy. Just no, so right, you know. right. Yeah, Deb's for sure a spy. She was, she was <laughs> a great customer service. Um, and also at Ralph's, I saw an 18 year old applying for a job with sweatpants and a t-shirt on. Mm, mm -hmm. Now, mm, mm, mm. I don't know if this is a generational thing. I don't know if this is a, as a black man, I was taught you have to always just dress up like McDonald's 17 years old. I was in a suit for that interview. Like I went to a farm interview. I was in a suit for that interview. So it's like, yeah, I just don't, I don't know if that's a generational. What do you think? Uh, I think it could be partly. Partly generational? I don't know, yeah. Interesting. It's just like, I, I mean, it could be generational, but it also could be just environment. Like, if you mm -hmm. don't grow up with someone telling you that, then it could just mm -hmm. be like, well, it's just a grocery store. Gotcha. But it's like, no, that's how you present, how you show up. That's how you present no yourself. That job. shows how, you, how much you care about it. Right. So that's very telling of how they really want the job. You right. Know? Yeah, I found that interesting. I saw him, you know, uh, signing something. And I was like, oh, he's probably applying for a, a Ralph's card. That's cool. Good job, young man. Get mm -hmm. yourself a Ralph's card. And then they're like, oh, so, yeah, uh, are you ready for the interview? Um, are you still in high school? Did you graduate? He's like, yeah, age, I'm 18, just finished. I was like, oh, you applying for a job. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, interesting. <laughs> All right. That's, that's different. Um, and it kind of ties in because today, 81st episode you know, whoop, whoop. Uh, you know, we're we're talking about the mamba mentality. I don't think the mama mentality is showing up to swoop, swoop sweatpants and a t shirt to any, job. to any job interview, even if you're, it's garbage cans, like you're full head to toe. Um, but we actually did mama mentality episode 24, mm -hmm. which go back to that queen. You listen to it, people, y'all listen to it because the growth from episode 24 to episode 81 is beautiful. Nice. Right. And I think we were still talking some good talk, episode 24, but the sound quality and in my ears, I'm like, mm, that could be better. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't have like the intros and outros that we have now. Yeah, we fun. weren't on StreamYard then. We weren't doing nothing live then. So I feel like, yeah, this from 24 to 81, we're talking about the same thing, but the level, the quality has gone to a whole nother stratosphere. And we're trying to get into that Mamba mode as we continue for the rest of this year and head into our next year yeah yeah we go we go hit it mama mentality is right there we're about to hit it um but queen yes are you ready ready are you ready for some podcast all right we're out
There it is. There it is. The queen. Uh huh. Dancing, singing, grooving, all oh. of that. Um. So Mamba mentality. Uh, Kobe Bryant. If you don't know, we're gonna show this clip right, right, right now. But if you don't know, Kobe Bryant just went off and scored 81 points in a single game this is the second most points to ever be scored by a single player and when you watch the clip go ahead Quinn. who Who's scored first? the most will chamberlain 100 points hey was it will chamberlain yes will chamberlain i almost thought it was kareem for some reason will chamberlain 100 points you know and i i think no disrespect to will no disrespect to the legend but kobe's hundred kobe's 80 looked harder mm. than will's 100 was what was back it was a little bit further back in the day tall dude playing with you know people that aren't in the nba today it was i was gonna say how it was defense what it was it was it was a different time but nonetheless he's still the number one so i'm not gonna take anything from the legend there um but we can pull up the video for kobe's 81 but what i love about this clip is it wasn't easy Mm. it was not easy but go, go ahead and press play on it let's see Right. He's going hard. He's shooting. He's fading away. Ah, he's doing almost threes in here. He's backing people down like he's using all of his weapons. He's dunking on people. He's getting fouled. He's going to the free throw line. He's up to 50. Uh, to that, um, yeah, there's this one breakaway that I wanted to show. Double, 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 and we can every night. Kobe is back yeah, in. Three pointer. George guns it to Bam. Little back door. Oh, ah, that's on the slam. Knocks down the three with ah. regularity. Kobe trying to answer back. Let's go to the side story when the Lakers are down by foot. Yeah. Is it my fault? Listen. Listen, he's attacking. All of the Lakers have to get going off his. Kobe for the Lakers are really bad. And they're falling behind. Even the face. Just yo-yo on the dribble and stops at the top of the Ooh, key. He's at 32 points. Yes, he does. Now, that tells you he's at 38. Kobe. His Brooks team has six. He pulls up for a three. Trying to move around both feet. Trying to put him up. Ridiculous. He decides to go up with him. Ridiculous. And if you're just listening, definitely go to our YouTube channel so you can watch the glory. Watch the face. Kobe all the way. Reverse. This is this the one. Look, ah, mm. he's out hustling people. Mm. All right, we, we we can pull it right there. We can pull it right there. But it is crazy the amount of I think effort that you see him doing. I think you assume like, oh, 81 points. It must have been easy. There must have been no defense. But he was attacking in a way that it looked like the other team wasn't trying. Right. Even on the fast breaks, he was doing it. And in my opinion, Mamba mentality is using all of your gifts using everything that you have for one specific goal Mm -hmm. and for kobe that goal was to win Mm -hmm. right and in the after interview he talks about like oh why did you score the 81 he was like i wanted to win (laughs) the the other team was getting up and i had to do what i needed to do in order for us to to get that w so we're going to go through a, a few steps on what it looks like for you to lock in to mamba mode but before we go into mamba mode uh, one, let's put up that that quote for Kobe, Mamba mentality, and Queen. What as you move into your your health coaching journey, mm-hmm. right? I see you lock it in. What is it? Ooh, what does Mamba mentality mean or look like for you? Um, I feel like for me, it just looks like um, like using. So for me, my gift would be. Um, I think the the. I mean, I. A lot of gifts, but yes, you do. <laughs> we're talking about like my gift of being analytical would be my lip, my gift of being um, just kind of research focused and data focused and things like that. Um, it, I think for me, it's utilizing that gift to help um, to help clients reach their goals. I mean, mm-hmm. that, I don't know how to, a different way to say it, okay. um, but yeah, I think it's just basically utilizing. Um, so like one of the things that I'm able to utilize or able to, or that I'm planning to utilize as a health coach is lab tests, right. Mm. Is being able to run, run lab tests with the client. 
um, and go over that data of here's your baseline, here's where you're starting. And then utilizing those same tests to, as we move along through the journey, be able to say like, yep, look, we're moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Look at the markers moving. Um, or nope, all right, they're, <laughs> they're going in the wrong way. In the wrong way. We got to course correct, course correct. Let's try this instead. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's what it means of just really helping folks make a difference and mm -hmm. over and over and over uh, and over uh, again. Yes, yes, yes. I do want to backtrack to where you, you know, humbly said, I have a lot of talents, but then you only chose one. Mm -hmm. What I love about the Black Mamba, Kobe and the Snake is they use all of their talents, mm -hmm. right? So I know you have, we can go down the list if you want to, but I know you have other talents as well. So the, the Black Mamba is one, one of the fastest snakes mm -hmm. in the world moving like 20 miles per hour. So it uses its speed. Two, it's the second most venomous snake in the world, second only to the King Cobra, mm. right? So again, Black Mamba was number two, Will Chamberlain number one, a lot, lot of parallels yeah. there. Um, but it's the most venomous snake on the continent of Africa. Mm. And it's also the longest ven venomous snake up to, I think it was 12 or 14 feet long, right? So it uses one, it's it's blackness to hide in the, in mm -hmm. the nighttime. Mm -hmm. It uses its poison to... <laughs> Go ahead and, and, and what, kill people. To <laughs> kill people. <laughs> right? It's using its speed to catch up to you. So it uses all of these skills to kill. Mm -hmm. That's its goal. Obviously, we're not promoting serial killers on, on here, but that's its goal, mm -hmm. right? So for you, Queen, you, you know, you can br br shake the humbleness off. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you, 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 you that one. <laughs> Talk about maybe some other gifts and skills that, that come together in the world of health coaching for you creatively it might not make sense to other people but it can make sense to you mm -hmm. uh, my world my gift of um like creating systems mm -hmm. is definitely going to be helpful again just to help me help help me help the, the, as help many, me <laughs> help, help you help as many people as possible you have to have a system in order to recreate and to mm -hmm. um what's the word i'm looking for like uh, I was say duplicate. yes duplicate yourself yes. and your consciousness yes, yes thank you um and then <laughs> and then you know the end end goal is to create a system that i can then have other coaches use mm -hmm. as well so um that will be a way to not only duplicate myself but also duplicate the system itself nice. um while you think about the next one let me get this eyelash so you can make a wish there you go that was a quick wish right there um <laughs> my my love for dance love i feel it. like that i literally was just talking to someone earlier today um they were just talking about i do not like to exercise mm. like in the typical way of exercising like squats going to the gym or whatever and i was like you know i can relate to that a little bit it's mm. not my favorite thing i don't dislike it but it's not my favorite thing like i like to do stuff that is more functional and like stuff that doesn't feel like i'm working out um to me that's dance mm. uh, absolutely um so i feel like i can relate to folks in that way but also um i can teach dance as well okay. um as a way for folks to be able to move and exercise in a way that's fun mm -hmm. um and yeah it doesn't feel like you're exercising nice all right what, one more one more that i just uh got the privilege of experiencing 15 minutes ago. Oh, cooking. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I'm a pretty good chef, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that I like to do just for us, which obviously lends my talents to do it as well for, for, for you all, for the world, for my <laughs> clients, is uh, making healthy food delicious. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I, I firmly believe that eating healthy shouldn't be miserable. It shouldn't be no. hard. I mean, no, it shouldn't be hard, right? If you can make food delicious, then it 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 it, it makes it easier to do the right thing. Right. Um, so yeah, that's why you know I'll be starting to to do some uh, Thursday throwdowns. So Thursday on Instagram, um, I, yeah, we'll start off on Instagram. I'll say for sure Instagram. Yeah. We, we may move into Facebook later, but we'll start with Instagram. Uh, I'll be cooking some cooking some delicious healthy meals, so you can tap in to learn you know what we cooking, mm -hmm. um, and how you can make your own meals healthier. So it's another talent. Boom. Oh, well done. I see. I okay. see. See, all those things combined make you the healthiest health nerd coach in the world. Mm. Mm. 
Um, okay, real quick, before we get into getting into Mamba mentality, we can throw up that slide where I'll get into in a second. Shout out to Rare X Brand for being the, the swag sponsor of the day. You can go to therarex.com, get yourself some swag. 10% of their proceeds go to foster you. Much love to the squad. Got some good stuff, all right? 